And good morning, Discovery Center. Good afternoon. We're happy to be here with you. This is Al Drew, Clay Anderson, Dave Williams, and I'm Bob Morgan, and we are ready for your first question. Welcome aboard the International Space Station. We have a quick message from Idaho. Hello, Idaho! Hi, I'm Sarah Avery. If you threw a baseball in space, how fast did it go? That's a great question, and we have a question for you that, that made us think of is just if you have a if you could throw a baseball in space, just how slow could you throw it? We've got a lot of astronauts up here who love baseball and who are good at it. So here we go. Clay Anderson, can you show us just how slow you can throw a baseball? Looks like Clay can even play catch with himself. Of course, you probably still want to know just how fast we can throw it. So Clay, what do you think? I don't know. He probably shouldn't throw it because uh, if he threw it as fast as he could, it would probably break something here in the station. Hi, I'm Cosette Roberts. When you were a kid, did you ever think about becoming an astronaut? find the ping pong balls to juggle. Let's go with the next question. Hi, I'm Cosette Roberts. When you were a kid, did you ever think about becoming an astronaut? Cal, how would you like to answer that? Only every day. It's been an obsession of mine since I was about five and a half years old. So, yes, and a short answer to your question. Hi, I'm Jordan Hill. What is it like when you first enter space in your wait list? That's a great question. As soon as you arrive in space after the main engines of the space shuttle stop, you float forward in your seat, your arms start rising up, and it's this incredible sense of freedom as you're floating around in microgravity. It's absolutely fantastic. The first thing we'd like to do is go to the window and look outside at the Earth beneath us. It's an amazing sight. And here you can see Clay trying to juggle. Next question. I'm Brooke Thomas. What types of exercise equipment and regimen are you using to prevent bone loss? Okay, Clay, why don't you tell us about that while you demonstrate what you're doing? We have an exercise bicycle here, among other things like a weight machine and a treadmill. Uh, Clay here is demonstrating how to use the bicycle to keep our lower body in shape. So uh, I want to know, though, how a shuttle person exercises in space. Well, Clay, here's how I exercise. Al and uh, Dave. You're my weight, so let me let me let me lift you. There's lots of groaning going on here as uh, Barbara Morgan lifts these uh, two huge objects. Next question. Hi, I'm Andrew Donalek. If you had an extra day in space, how would you use it? What 
I would love to do is spend time with the growth chamber that we brought up for Clay. He's going to be growing some basil seeds. Clay, where is that growth chamber? This is a growth chamber that Barbara's talking about, and what we're going to do is grow some basil seeds and some lettuce seeds and see how they do in space in zero gravity. And hopefully I'm going to have a little bit of salad uh, someday uh, down the line. And we're really excited to show this to you because we need your help with this. We need to figure out how we're going to feed our long-term explorers on the moon and on Mars. And so NASA actually has a design challenge for you because we would love for you to help us figure this out. Please ask your teachers about this and ask them to ask NASA so you can get involved. Next question. Hi, my name is Ashalina Benson. What do you have to do to prepare for a spacewalk? Actually, that's a great question. Uh, a lot of the spacewalk depends on our strength. So we do a lot of exercises, and of course we train for all the tasks that we're going to be doing uh, outside on the spacewalk. And to do that on Earth, we actually have to go below the surface of the water at a training facility called the NBL, a big swimming pool. We rehearse all the various tasks that we're going to be doing outside of the space station. It takes a lot of work to prepare, but it's a lot of fun to do. Hi, I'm Madison Escarziga. How does the crew get clean air in the shuttle? Of course, as you understand, that all the air we bring up with us is, is all the air that we have. There's no opening up a window to clean out the place if it gets smoky. Uh, so we actually have to clean the, clean the air as we go along. Of course, as we breathe every day, we put all kinds of carbon dioxide out into the atmosphere here. So we use a scrubbing can to bring it out. It's something called lithium hydroxide. Uh, very close to what we use to clean the drains on Earth, you can use that to take carbon dioxide out of the air. Um, and Barbara is going to bring out a canister of what we use to do that. We take a fan and we blow it through these different holes in this mesh here, and it goes through the lithium hydroxide powder. And the lithium hydroxide binds with the carbon dioxide and lets the pure nitrogen and oxygen emerge so we don't poison our atmosphere. Of course, we do carry a supply of oxygen, uh, frozen, uh, liquid oxygen in tanks to replenish the atmosphere because even, then, even though our shuttle is airtight, a small amount does leak overboard all the time, so we want to maintain a certain amount of pressure so that we're healthy. Hi, I'm Sarah Bloom. How does being a teacher relate with being an astronaut on this mission? Astronauts and teachers actually do the same thing. We, discuss, we explore, we discover, and we share. And the great thing about being a teacher is you get to do that with students, and the great thing about being an astronaut is you get to do it in space. And both are absolutely wonderful jobs. Hi, I'm Fallon Henry. Could you demonstrate how you drink in space? We'd love to demonstrate that. There's a number of ways of doing things. First, there's the fun way of going about getting a drink in space. Of course, there's no gravity, so the water, when it, any drink when it comes out, forms just a kind of a big blob that floats around amongst itself, holds together under its own surface tension. attach itself to things by surfaces like a spoon. You don't even have to use it as a kick. Hello, 
Hi, my name is Hunter Fry. What are your responsibilities for this mission? Well, we all, we all answer that with short answers because we all have a variety of responsibilities. My responsibilities are to uh, for the robotic arm and a lot of the transfer. We brought up uh, about 150 bags worth of stuff, and we're bringing lots of...